everyone, this is Madeline from the New Brighton Library and today we're going to be learning a little bit about fossils in a fun, easy little project we have here. So in your bag you should have gotten two bags of this air dry clay. Now this clay is something that once you take it out of this bag and let it sit for 24 hours it should actually harden and dry. If you want to reuse it then you can just put it back in this bag and it should stay good for a while. And then you also should have gotten a dinosaur. You could have gotten all different kinds. I have this one, I have this one, but you all should have gotten one dinosaur in your bag. And then you also got a wooden dinosaur that you can just decorate just for an extra little project for you to do. So if any of you have ever seen real dinosaur fossils, maybe at the museum, maybe you've seen pictures of them in your science class, you know that it's the bones of the dinosaur that is the fossil. But fossils of dinosaurs definitely take a very long time to form, millions and millions of years. And it's not actually their bones left there. Over time, their actual bones get covered with layers of dirt and rocks and water can seep through. So what happens is over a long period of time, the bones gradually get replaced by rocks. So you end up with these really hard fossils of their bones, which are actually made of rock. There are other kinds of fossils too. If you've ever seen maybe little imprints of seashells in rocks that you found, or maybe the imprint of a leaf that takes, you know, those ones take less time because it's just an imprint. So today we're going to be actually looking at imprints because we're going to take this clay and leave the imprint of a dinosaur in it. The imprint that we're going to do is similar to how you might find animal footprints in mud or you might find the imprint of a leaf in some mud because something has pressed into the soft mud and then overnight or in a few days it's hardened and that image is left there for you to find. So that's similar to what we're going to be doing with this. Okay, the first step is going to be to take out your clay. It might be a bit tricky to get out of the bag. It's a little bit sticky, but it should eventually come out. All right, I'm gonna split mine in half because I'm gonna try to do two imprints since I have two different dinosaurs. All right, I'm using just a paper plate here to rest my clay on so I don't get it on the table. It's pretty soft and easy to mold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll it, make a nice ball here, and then I'm just gonna flatten it until I get a circle big enough that I would be able to press my dinosaur into it. Now dinosaurs come in all different shapes and sizes. So your circle might need to be bigger or smaller than mine. I'm gonna try for my bigger one first though. So I'm gonna have to stretch this out. And you don't want it to be super thin because you still wanna have room for your dinosaur I am satisfied with this, so I'm going to press my dinosaur into it. Here is my completed imprint. Now you'll notice it's not of the whole dinosaur, but that's not unusual because it's very hard for a fossil or an imprint fossil like this to capture what the whole animal looks like. So I'm gonna try my other one and we'll see if it turns out a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna try my second dinosaur now. Here's the imprint of my second dinosaur. 
you can see more of the actual shape of the dinosaur in this one. So I think this one came out a little bit better. So this clay is a little bit sticky. So I have some advice for when you're pressing your dinosaurs into it. If it gets stuck, you just want to press lightly and maybe roll your dinosaur a little bit to get the imprint in there without pushing it hard all the way in. Because if you push it really hard all the way into the clay, it's going to get a little bit stuck and it's not going to leave as nice of an imprint in the clay for you. And then also the good thing about this is if you mess up, you can just squish your clay back together and roll it out and try it all over again. Or you can keep doing the experiment that way and you could try it with different things besides a little plastic dinosaur. You could try maybe some plants from outside or maybe you have other little plastic animals you want to try it with. You can do whatever you would like. So I'm going to let mine sit on this plate and hopefully by tomorrow they will be dry. I hope you had fun doing this science experiment and I hope you keep checking back on the New Brighton Library Facebook and Instagram pages to stay up to date on all the fun activities and science experiments we have going on. Thank you!